Here's how to get shaders in the mod rinse mod packs. Now, the first thing you want to do is find your mod pack that you're playing and you want to determine if this is a fabric or a forged mod pack, because depending on that, it's going to be the way that we add shaders. Now, for example, let's say that you have a fabric mod pack. Usually when you have a fabric mod pack, and by the way, it will tell you right here, usually having a fabric mod pack in mod rinse, it already comes with shaders. But if it doesn't, head over to the mod pack page within mod rinse, press on content over here, and then press on install content. You want to search up iris, and then you want to install iris shaders, and you also want to search up sodium and you want to install sodium because iris shaders will require sodium to run now by installing those two you'll be able to add shaders once your mod pack opens but this is only for the fabric options if you have let's say a forge mod pack instead we're gonna need to manually add optify into here because if you press on install content and you look up optifine you'll see that you don't have Optifine, like the actual mod in here. So we're gonna need to download Optifine. Now for that, head over to the second link in the description. This is an in-depth article on how to install Optifine to anything, to a Minecraft game, to a Minecraft mod pack. But if you wanna make it quick, just go down in here and press on the Optifine button. That is going to redirect you to this page where you're gonna choose show all versions and then you're gonna find the version of Optifine that matches your Minecraft mod pack. I want to add shaders to Dying Light and I'm using Forge 1.20.1. So in the Optifine page, we're going to look for 1.20.1. And once you find it, you're going to hit a mirror right here. That'll redirect you over here where you're going to hit download. That'll begin the download of Optifine right away. Now, once you have Optifine downloaded, head back into the ModRinth app and right here on install content, press add from file. Once you press in there, it's going to have you find your Optifine or it's going to have you find the mod that you downloaded. Usually, you're going to find there your downloads folder unless you have a custom download folder. So head over to downloads and then press on Optifine, the file that you just downloaded. Just make sure it's always the right version. In this case, it is 1.20.1 and then press on open. And then just like that, it will add Optifine into here. Just make sure you search and make sure that you actually added it and make sure it's turned on. Now, go ahead and hit play and you'll see that now you have the option to play using shaders from within your game. When you open your mod pack, if you head over to options and then you go over to video setting, you will see that you now have the shaders option in here where you are able to add shaders. If you open that shaders folder, just place any shader that you want into here. And if you don't have any shaders, I'll leave you guys down below this link, which is our top 10 best free shaders for Minecraft. And all you have to do is choose one of these shaders, download it, and then add it to your shaders folder. Downloading a shader is usually really, really easy. You just click on the shader, then it will take you to the page where you're going to download that shader file, and then you'll get a zip file. And with that zip file, all you have to do is place it on that shader packs folder that we had open earlier. And then you head back into your game and you should see those shaders now in the game. You select them, give it a couple seconds, and that's it. You now have shaders and you could go ahead and launch a world and you will see that your game looks completely different than before. And there we go. Once we open the game, we see that we have shaders. We have some beautiful shaders actually added into our game. And now we could enjoy our mod ranked mod pack using shaders. If this video helped you out, guys, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.